Hello and good evening everybody. Welcome and this is actually not a live stream by the way guys, so I just wanted to let you guys know in advance because it took me like a bit of a I don't know, in a matter of 30 seconds of making this layout, but I just want to let you all know in advance this is not a live stream guys, so this is actually a video. So I'm I'm doing like a video reaction today, guys. So this just dropped today. This just dropped today, guys, and I think I've seen a slightly bit of it, but not like both thing of it. So for today, or tonight I would say, I'm here to do a reaction on Godzilla X Kong the New Empire official trailer number two. So yeah, so this is actually gonna be very excited. I haven't seen like the whole thing, but we'll go ahead and check it out. As you see, I'm actually recording it through OBS, so I don't know how that, but yeah, so we're actually gonna watch and react to the trailer first, and then we'll get to get some analysis and see what we saw in that trailer afterwards. So this is just a video, by the way. So anyway, let's go ahead and watch the trailer, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and full screen it, and we'll watch and start the reaction. So let's get into it. Three, two, one, and play. Oh, right, right in that one scene from the first trailer. There was harmony. Yup, we already saw that already. Kong with the axe. The titans were the guardians of nature. And the great oh, jeez, Godzilla looks so menacing right there. The wow. Oh look, it's that same scene! It's just like the first movie. It's just like from that first movie right there. Whoa! What is- What the- Whoa! What's going on? What is wrong with me? Huh? What's going on, Gia? Warner Brother? Legendary? We've okay. A signal. a signal? From where? Can feel it. She can feel it? Kong, Kong and Godzilla Godzilla. too? They can feel it too. Oh. Something is coming. What's coming? Something even they're afraid of. What's going on? Though you never asked. Yo, Dan Steven? Just try not to swallow your tongue. What? Hey yo, Birdie Hate going in the whole earth? Bro, bro, see ne we never see Birdie Hate going to the whole earth. Bro, this man is not okay. Oh god. Oh. Is that a mini Kong? Yes, you just witnessed a mini Kong already. Oh my god. Oh. Just a signal. Oh. Oh. The world. fiery king. Oh, there's a scar. Oh, the whole Kong tribe army? A scar king? Oh my goodness. Oh, the fight scene. Oh my god. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That sounds yeah, like I gotta sting. Wait, what is what? That ain't no way that's fucking Shimu. That is motherfucking Shimu! His accent is Shimu! His accent is Oh, the run scene again. Rise together. Oh, there's Brazil! That's Brazil! Or follow alone. Those two met up. It was almost the end of Kong. Oh no, they're fighting again? They're fighting each other again? What? Oh, oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, he just... Man, 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 seen everything. I'm done. <laughs> oh, Kazuo can do nuclear bolts now? Huh? Oh, so go to a giant... just... Minor augmentations. This, this giant oh. little... Mini Kong just threw a mon monkey at that. Like, what the heck? What in the hell? Oh! Oh my goodness, yo! Oh wow, that's crazy! Oh, wow, that was insane! Like that was an insane trailer! Like, holy crap! What do you guys think of that trailer? Like, oh my god! I never expected a. a that like it went hard on that they literally went hard on that trailer like and I thought yeah this already we expected which this might be a good movie this might end up being the one of the best movie of the year 
Possibly do better than the predecessor, who knows? Anyway. I don't know what just happened, so... Okay, so, we need to look at some... So, we need to look something at what we saw in the trailer, so... I might lower down the volume a bit to see what we can find, and we'll go to that specific scenes, like, what found cool or menacing, right here, okay, let's go to that, okay, where's that first shot, okay, can we talk about that shot of how menacing Godzilla looking underwater? Matt thought minus Goji underwater section was menacing. No, this is worse. <laughs> this is actually very menacing. Alright, what's that next one? Wait, what you talk about? Wait, what's this one? Okay. This so I I heard a lot of people all over the internet were saying this. Yes, uh, we could expect the possible return of Mothra. A lot of people are stating, and yes, uh, don't get me right, this is just a rumor. Yes, it's been rumored that Mothra might possibly make a return to the MonsterVerse. Which, I think the eyes we see, I think that's possibly Mothra. It could be Mothra, it could be someone else. Who knows? But, I gotta say, like, I will be surprised, I will honestly be shocked if she ever made it back to the MonsterVerse. That'll be, like, the second MonsterVerse film since, uh, King of the Monster. Yeah, that, okay, th okay, this right here, what do you do? Okay, I thought, ah, come on. I think it is, okay, this shot right here, okay, so... You see, like, a whole building right here. Oh, yeah, obviously, right here, that I believe that's possibly, I believe that's possibly Kong fighting against Scar King, and then the one right here in this corner right here, that is definitely Godzilla fighting against a whatever monster. That, well, we'll get to that eventually. Yeah, okay, we'll get to the... Okay. Where's the next one? Oh, the... Oh. Oh, this part. Wait, wh which part is it? Okay, yeah, Godzilla's going blue somehow. Wait, is that her frozen, or... This I can't tell. This one, honestly, I cannot tell. Is that her Godzilla frozen? Like, he's about to be frozen? Or is he just covering, like, blue nuclear poles? Like, I think it has, like, blue crack. Like, something... Like, it's some... It's, I believe it's, like, something similar to burning Godzilla in Godzilla... King of Monsters, or, or maybe something like that, but you never, never know. It could be something different, but again, we don't know. Just the thing. All right, bro. Let's go to the, let's go to the paper part. Let's go to this one right here. Try not to swallow your tongue. What? Yeah. Okay. So these, you see these pillars right here. So apparently, these pillars, they, I believe, they used that to activate like through a portal, like. They use that to activate like a portal through the whole earth, which, which I believe there was like, there was, cause as we saw in the last film, which was Godzilla vs. Kong, yeah, there was a portal through the whole earth through Antarctica. This time around, they build a portal, like pillars, so the, this water section right here can turn itself into a portal to, to the whole earth. And yes, and you see a brand new heave, which is called the Biomantic Heave, as mentioned, and among the people that were inside the heave are, we got is, I believe is Rebecca's Hall character, which is uh, Dr. Ulan and Andrew, Gia again, which, yes, they bo both of them been to the Hall Earth, but they're joined by two characters that never been into the Hall Earth. Yes, but they're, they're also going to be joined by two characters who, ne who have never been into the Hall Earth, one being a new, entirely brand new character, their introduction to the MonsterVerse, being uh, Trapper, which is portrayed by Dan Steven. And the other is a returning character from the previous film, Bernie Hay. Hey, which, while Bernie Hay, in the previous film, yeah, he didn't visit the whole Earth because he was with Madison and Josh in the surface world. This time around the sequel, yes, this is actually going to be Bernie's first time visiting the whole Earth. 
<laughs> this is actually gonna be his first time ever. He's gonna go into the hall of Earth. Like, it's crazy. Oh, this is I'm sorry, that, does, that looks like Bernie is not okay. Bro, this this that is not okay. <laughs> After going through a portal in the hour. Bro, my brain. Bro, he never, bro, bro. They, yeah, remember how, like, all these strobing like effect, like, when they go through the portal to the whole earth? In God's Over the Kong. Yeah, they're bringing it back again in the sequel. Oh, this time, Dan Stevens gonna be involved with this? Well, it, Trapper, actually. And Bernie Hay, which is a character from the previous film, returning in the sequel. Oh, this time, he never been to the, he actually never been to the whole Earth. <laughs> His reaction's just bright, was he just, he just, so, he's just not okay. He was not okay after that. Bro, bro, Bernie, bro, Bernie Hay is not okay. He's not okay. He was literally not okay after that. Like, holy crap. Okay. Oh, this. Okay, this is something we would ever see. Yes, yeah, so we have a whole army of gorillas. Well, giant gorilla actually, because they're around the same size as Kong. So we had a whole, we had a whole army of giant. Giant or should I say Titanus Kong? We have a whole army of Kong like gorilla uh, giant. They're all giant. They're all Kong. Kongs. Under the, who are under the league of Scar King. And, yeah, they're Scar King as mentioned. And yeah, and there's Suko, which is all being scared. Air man, man just, man just jump. Man's look like Lanky Kong, not gonna lie. He looks like Lanky Kong. But not actually like Lanky Kong, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, so. Oh. Okay, can we talk about that fight scene though? That, that Yeah, that was an insane fight scene right there. Bro, that's insane. Ain't... That one is a good. That is probably gonna be a, one of the first fight scenes we're gonna see in the film. Um, Kong against the Scar King with. As you may notice, yes, Kong using his signature battle axe against Skarky with his whip slash weapon, been in a f which is actually a titan skull made up of spine bone, which is crazy. Yeah, that the way how Skarky brutally like injured Kong like through the wrist, like that. That sounds like Scar King is gonna be a dangerous titan, especially with his whip slash. I think his whip slash can actually scrape off off like that because of the whip. Because man, okay, so yeah, so Scar King has a whip, so he's basically like Simon Belmont in Smash. Well, he's basically a mixture of Simon and I don't know. What should I say a mixture of Simon? I'm not too sure. But yeah, that looks painful. That actually looks painful. But also, yeah, so Kong... So, yeah, so Kong is gonna have a hard time fighting against Scar King, especially with his whip slash right there. That song is gonna be a tough time. What is that? Oh, this one. Okay, go back to that one shot. You cannot convince that is 100% Shimo. Because that can't be Scar King. Because we saw Scar King Gary, like... Yeah, and that one shot right there, like, in the lava. Like, behind the molten lava. Kong is just looking, and he just, like, raises his eyebrow. And just, like, gaps in shock. Like, he was... Sh he was shocked. And then, behind it, in the shadowy darkness, is Ashu Shimo. Okay. H having Shimo behind a molten lava background in the darkness is actually horrifying. It's actually found it more horrifying to make Shimo a the biggest threat in Gazo X Continent Empire. Ma mostly the biggest threat in the MonsterVerse too, which yes. And then we got this next shot right here, and then this next shot right here. 
Yeah, and that next shot, that's when Shimo fired his Frostbite Blast over at Kong, which Kong grabbed his axe and he blocked it with the axe, but you may notice. Yes, apparently his axe isn't working as his axe was seemingly froze. And Kong was this close about to freeze to death by Shimo's Frostbite Blast, which, yes, that's... Crazy, and then, and then we have this next shot right here, which, yes, as you can see, um, someone fired right up to the sky. That's possibly Gmo again, which he fired his frostbite blast into the sky, possibly making the snow or cold weather around the surrounding city in the beach as well. And you may recognize this statue too, guys. So, I actually do recognize that statue from somewhere. It seemed like. The final climax for this movie, they're probably going to fight in Brazil. Which, which, yo, they're fighting in Matthias' homeland, and apparently. They were fighting in Rio, in Brazil. Yo, so that's where they're going to fight. They're actually going to fight, in, they're actually going to fight in Brazil, which is crazy. And all of the... Some of those two met up. It was almost the end of Kong. Oh, yeah, okay, so a lot of people... So this was this was from a lot of people's speculation that in the sequel we will there will be a fight scene where Gazo and Kong are gonna fight again. And just like in the previous film film which which as we all the church, so it is seemed like Gazo and Kong will be fighting against each other again. Even though they purport the truth, even though they didn't they agree even though they did took out Mecha Gazo together at the end of the Godzilla vs. Kong, apparently they're they're still under a truce, and apparently Godzilla think Kong is a threat now, and not freaking Scar King Shimo, so I don't know why. And and I believe they're fighting on, uh, I believe, the Pyramid of Egypt? Yes, as you can see, Godzilla literally took a uh, of a uh, freaking um, pyramid. To like each other, we just have to work together. That roar is menacing and awesome, not gonna lie. Okay, that shot, okay. I think there was a brief. You see that guy on the, okay. Look at this, guys. Look at this one on the right hand corner. That's definitely Shimo, that's definitely Shimo. And yes, it's see like, we're seeing uh the final climax right here. This is possibly the final climax is about. So we see Cog with his Beast Club fight against uh, Scar King and Shimo. So I believe Cog is trying to take down Scar King and then I believe Godzilla is gonna fight against Shimo. Like the two of them, like two on two fight. Well, actually three on, f well actually three on two actually because you can see Suko right here, the the or Mini Kong. So Mini Kong and Kong is it? So yeah, so but Suko is also gonna be involved in the final climax too. Which... Okay, that one is brutal. That one, that was brutal. So he actually knocked his two, one of his tooth out, like Scar King's tooth out. Oh, the Stormy Knight right there. Yeah, that okay. That I didn't expect. So. Apparently, they brought back one of the Heisei Godzilla series old power, the ability to unleash nuclear pulse, which this seemed like promising. This like seemed promising right here. Here, and then we got like a few more like shot of it. Okay, this I need to explain. How can freaking Scar King? Okay, actually, better question. How come a 200 feet whip slash wraps around and destroy and cr split an entire building in half and Scar King can literally toss it with a with his own whip? And yeah, he's actually gigantic than I thought. Like, oh, bro, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. Like, how could he even throw that? Like, dang. Oh yeah, that shot though, that's actually cool. He actually used his his hook, his arms with the beast glob on, and it actually, he, it actually destroyed a building in one hit. And, which, that proves that the bite, the, the beast glob is actually, made Kong punches even more powerful and devastating, like, that's crazy, like, that's crazy. And in the final shot we got is both Gazo and Kong roaring. Orin, right there, which this is something that we saw in the promotional on the Empire Magazine. It's actually very cool. 
And I believe Godzilla's spine is not um, glowing either. So I think it's going to look like when it's not glowing. And then you have Godzilla's tail. So I think it, it signals like we're in truth. Let's go. It's honestly like, all right, Godzilla, uh, let's go fight. Let's go defeat uh, Scar King and Shimo together. Which, yeah, that's. I think that's where pretty much all that is. Yup. And we got the title, Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. Oh. Yup, and, yep, and the last shot us obviously said only in theater March 29th, which the film was originally going to release on April 12th, but they move it up to March 29th. So they move it up by two weeks early, guys, which this is very, that's very excited. That's actually so excited, guys. So, yeah. That's amazing, nonetheless. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to be it for my reaction, guys. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much about it. And all the detail were covered in that. So, with that being said, guys. That's going to be it for my reaction to the second official trailer for Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like. And don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to tune in for more future content on my channel such as videos those those reaction video gameplay video even live stream well so if you guys want to catch up on more live stream i will be live on sometime around mostly every day sometime not every day though oh because of work but anyway with that being said guys thank you guys so much for watching we hope you guys comment and subscribe and until then we'll catch you guys next time goodbye everyone bye